haven't been introduced to this yet, but you will find it useful. Standard method is this one, right? Where you hold the book parallel to the layers. Now the stripe line is the horizontal line on that, right? So the first thing you have to do is just take the compass and hold it horizontal and get the azimuth, right? That's what you did, right? Everybody do it that way? And you have to get this bubble. Well, you haven't got this kind of compass, but you got a level bubble like that. It has to be level. Just like the little thing that I wrote, the whatever, right? The bad question on about up versus down. Mm -hmm. And then they get the inclination, or the, the dip. The strike is here, so the dip is in that direction, perpendicular to that. So you hold the compass in a vertical plane, and then get the inclination from that. And in my case, I get about here, I get about 58. Uh, so th this is a different kind of compass, but see what, see? But, a lot of one of the things that common mistake I've seen people they lay their compass like that, mm -hmm. and that's not right because that's not going to give you the correct measurement. Mm -hmm. It has to be in this vertical plane, right? Fair enough. Mm -hmm. yep. Now, I am going to show you just to show you. I showed some other people this one too. There's another method that's a lot faster. You should learn much better when you uh, get out in the field and do a lot of work. It's a lot quicker than that. It also tends to get rid of some of the error. Is to when you have this kind of an outcrop, we have a big outcrop. I can look at the outcrop, and I can take look at my eye is at this height, right? Mm -hmm. And if I look at things that are out here that are my eye height, which are right in front of me, I got a bed that's right underneath. Up there, I can see the top of the bed. It's about my eye height. So if I go this way, I think it eclipses the top of the bed. And I go this way, and I can see the top of the bed. That means as I go this way, I'm right there. It just eclipses the top of the bed. Now I know that my eye is looking along a horizontal line on that bedding plane. So I can take my compass now and sight in that direction. Mm-hmm. And then turn it. And I'll just let the compass needle settle down for a moment. And I got 268. Oh, it locks it. You guys it. got before, right? What's that? Your button locks it. Yeah. It, oh, okay. The button does that too. You just have to hold the button down. Oh. Um, but See how fast that was? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. I didn't have to sit there and get the book and all that. Yeah. But I got it's even better because I don't have to do anything else. Now I just look at it. I'm looking in the natural cross section. Now I can also hold the compass vertical here and line it up with the bed. And I and I can measure dip, which in this case is 48 degrees. No, your margin of error is going to be plus minus. Yeah. Like. But my advantage here, the reason this is this can you can. Eyeball the average. You can okay. get rid of those little ripply effects. And if you hold the compass, if you hold the book, you might happen to be in an irregularity on the bed. Whereas this, you can kind of average it out. So take a few and then average if you're eyeballing. Well, to you get... can do it that way, or you could. But it's, in this case, you can just sort of mentally average it. Yeah. By holding it up on you. Yeah. Sort of what an average orientation. Okay. Is.